Hey guys, uh, Spikey here. I'm recording a game for uh, my boy here, Drake Aaron. He's playing a quick mash, match against uh, Lashiris, or however the fuck that's pronounced, I don't remember. I think I learned it one time. Uh, he's uh, playing a quick game here so he can try and figure out what he can do to improve. Starting off with the uh, the Marsh Song and the Imp Alchemist. Not too awful. Looks like he's going uh, Revere Fire Ma, huh? It's an interesting build, I guess. It kind of makes him quite a bit more, but assuming that he's playing Fire Ma. So... I don't know. I would assume it's uh, something along those lines. There's uh, Border Guard Elite there from Lashiris. He's going to... I mean, obviously the... Uh, I'm just going to try and grab their fonts there right off the bat. And I'm not, uh, not totally sure what the main strategy behind, uh, Drake's deck is. I mean, I saw kind of a couple versions of it on the forums, and it had some interesting choices that, I mean, can work, but I don't know necessarily how to work them myself, but what are you going to do? There you go, simple just grabbing their respective fonts there. I'm not sure if uh, Drake's going to deploy or what. I mean, I would if I were him, but, you know, what are you going to do, right? Now, let's see, what's he, what's he got going here? There we go, there's a uh, Collective Ambassador, some range with some Annex. Now, Annex does only work on the Shrine now, these days, so... He's got that extra deployment zone. There's a uh, Frostwing Glaive by Lashiris. Kind of some... Uh, Pseudo AoE with Arc Blade. And there's a uh, Frostwing Slayer. Looks like he's going heavy with the the legendaries. Got a pseudo ranged with the spear. Bold Honor Guard. Wow. All sorts of fun stuff. So I'm assuming, since he's got his melee out, he's going to start bringing out his range. Kind of come up behind with that. Now I'm not sure that was the best spot to uh, slap that alchemist. It probably would have done better here or there. That way it was closer for the sake of uh, action potion or contaminate. Got a fire salaman. I could have sworn he used to be range like 2 to 4 or something. Oh well. He's range uh, 1 to 2 now, I guess. There's uh, Lashiris moving his guys up, still kind of being fairly defensive with his placement. But he's got some pseudo range with uh, the spear there and the arc blade. You know, it's 4, four range. Not bad. He's definitely, uh, Drake here is definitely not going to want to be bunching up his champs. We got the Flameheart Bolter in on there. That's not awful. Got some amp going down. That's the action potion. So he's going to try and go in for uh, a quick double tap, I think, of the Frostwing. You know, put a little bit of a hurt on it. He also, uh, he also threw down the Contaminate to get the uh, the poison going. Now, Contaminate, really, it's not as good as it used to be, because uh, poison no longer lowers the uh, defense. At least I don't think it does. I believe Scoured and Poison no longer lower defense. There's Fire Ma. Good deal. So now he's got uh, Ritual Destruction there on that alchemist which is solid I don't know if he's got any form of uh, consistent form of summons though which would be the kind of thing you'd want I 
Yeah. There's the uh, hold the line. He's looking like he's getting ready to try and hold things kind of there. And just otherwise going in for, you know, his positioning. There's uh, Julia thrown down, getting his range out. Kind of a counter to fire mommy right now. I mean, apart from his range guy that he's got way the hell up there. Uh, Drake here doesn't really have much in the way of uh, range support. And he's definitely going to want to pull that back because I mean that's it's pretty dang squishy to begin with. And uh, I don't know, it's just the fact that he's got it way the hell up there is a little worrying. Now he does have uh, you know the flame heart pauldron, so he gets fire eater, so he can walk on the lava there, and then he's also uh, gets the damage shield for being there, but I wouldn't be bunching up like that. Especially against uh, Savage Tundra. They've got some pretty wicked AoEs. And he did already uh, he did already waste his Arc Blade there. So he's got to wait a few more turns before he can throw that down again. And there's a uh, Demon Lich. But that Salaman, I, for example, I mean, I would... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'd, I'd move it up in some sense. Maybe over there. Kind of try and preemptively block things off. Maybe over there or something. But that, uh, that ambassador is way, way too close. He's just wasting wasting AP doing that. Cause he's all he's all bunched up right there. That's just oh, I mean he's just asking to get AOE there. It's the uh, the bone charm on the frostwing glaive. Pounce three and blood rage, uh, blood rage rather, which is exactly why that positioning is kind of bad. It leaves open that sort of, you know, play. I wonder if he's going to go for the uh, ambassador, if he's just going to go right for the support with the alchemist. Looks like he's probably going to, uh, yeah, he's, he's trying to go for the uh, alchemist there. Well, and the Salaman, obviously. Beset, what the fuck is that? There's the AoE. So he's kind of moved in and AoE'd everything between, uh, you know, Pounce there and uh, Blood Rage and the spell there. So I mean, it kind of left things pretty rough. Now he does have Cleansing Aura, though, on that Ambassador, which was, for whatever reason, left alive. There's the uh, Abyssal Fiend. Wow, he's, uh, he's cheap again all of a sudden. Oh, he doesn't have Multi anymore. That's why he's cheap again. <laughs> uh, now, this guy used to be pretty, pretty wicked. He was like 65 Nora for basically the same thing, except it was Ready 2, and um, he was... He had multi two as well. He was like sixty five damn nor. He was stupid. He was just straight up broken. So he's going to looks like he's trying to lay the smack down on the frostwing glaive, but he can't uh can't actually do anything due to the uh, elevation changes here on the font or whatever, otherwise he'd be able to just move that demon lich up and you know, throw down a cleansing flame. Which uh, would have been able to take that out. Instead, he's kind of having to spread his damage out, which um, is not very good. Because I mean, a full HP damage or a full HP champ does the same damage as an eight HP champ here. I mean, it's still going to be doing a bunch now. He's got that glaive back, so he was able to throw that down.
So that ambassador is pretty well dead. I mean, he just needs a couple of hits from his guys there. Yeah, there's the power attack coming from the border guard. So he's going to be going for a uh, fire maw. Like so. The piercing shot and the probably just regular attack. What did he do there? Retreat? Oh, wow. That's different from what it used to be. Okay, he did that because it would have killed his guy. But instead he did that to get the Nora back. Now he's there in the font. Though, I mean, he can just move in with that Demon Lich and totally take him out. Though he does have the, the Wingmaster Cleric now. He's getting some more range out. Yeah, Lucius here is, should be sitting on shitloads of Nora. Well, not so much anymore, but I mean, he would have been. And he's just not going to do enough damage to kill that. He's got, you know, he's got Bolt there, so he gets lots of defense when he uh, when he uh, moves in like that. So I mean, even though his damage normally would have been high enough to, well, it wouldn't have actually been quite enough to take it out. It would have been one HP off, but he, can't, he gained a bunch of defense by moving in like that. Oh, okay, and he's got, because Chewie is in play, it would have been two off, I guess. So he's moving in with the Abyssal Fiend, going for an attack. I'm not sure that moving the Demon Lich right there was a good move, really. What, what was that? Volcanic Burst. Interesting. So he's probably did that somewhere there in the font. Maybe over there. That Abyssal Fiend, though, is, uh, screwed. I mean, really, leaving things within, uh, double tap range with, uh, Julia there alone is just a poor decision. And that's the surrender going down. Alright. 